So in order to work around with animation, you have to work with keyframes. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can work around with keyframes and auto keyframes to start out animation. So to do that on the top, you can see that you can, you, you can see that I have an object. Let me just delete this and then press shift A to create another object. Let's say, for example, I'm going to work around with the cylinder. So I'm going to go around into animation and once I do, you can see that I have a camera right here. I can press T and then once I press T on my keyboard, I can go around with the move tool right here. I can move the camera onto the left and right just like this or I can rotate this around and you can see the view right here. If I were to select this out, that is the cylinder, then I can rotate this around. So what I want to do is work around with keyframes and in order to add in keyframe, that is uh, to start animating, I can go around and press I on my keyboard. And once I press I on my keyboard, these are the keyframes that you can work with. But here, to um, uh, keep it simple, I'm going to go around into location, rotation and scale. So once I click on this, the keyframes for location, rotation and scale is added in. And right now, nothing happens. You can see that there's a timeline on the bottom. So this is the zero frame right here. So let's say right around onto 60 frames. So this is the location, rotation and scale uh, that we added in for frame uh, one right here. So if I were to go around onto frame 60 and if I were to rotate this around just like this and if I were to let's say scale this around, let me just go around and then scale it out from the side. Let me scale this out from the side as well. And if I were to go around onto, let's say, for example, move, I'm just going to move this around. Then what happens is that now uh, the location, rotation and scale for this object has been changed. But the keyframe has not been added in frame 60 yet. So I'm just going to go around and press um, I on my keyboard, go around into location, rotation and scale. And then the keyframe is added. So now what is essentially happening is that on frame one, this is the location, rotation and scale. On frame 60, this is the location, rotation and scale. So if I were to scrub this through, you can see that the in between uh, frames are actually automatically there. So if I were to go around over here on the beginning, press uh, space on my keyboard, you can see that it actually plays around as an animation right here. So that is how the, this actually works out. Another thing that you can do is you can add in, let's say, for example, if I were to go around into rotation, I can rotate this around onto the other side. You can see that each time, however, adding in location, rotation and scale like this. So if I were to press I go to go here, then it is actually quite troublesome because I might forget it sometimes. So what you can do is you can enable auto keyframing. So on the bottom, you can see auto keying is here. Once I enable this and now what happens is that you can see that this is how it is being animated. If I want to add in another keyframe right here, I can just move this around and the keyframe is added in automatically. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go around over here, move this onto the side. Let's just go around, move this onto the side and rotate this around right here. Let's rotate this around. Let's scale this around right here. And this is what happens. So you can go around and then play this, press the space bar. And that is how you can go around onto location, rotation and scale animation, as you can see. And that is how you can work around with keyframe and auto keyframe inside of Blender. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.